President Nayib Bukele of El Salvador is making a bold statement. The rights of law-abiding citizens come first, not those of criminals. When we did, when we did that, we got huge condemnations. You, you, you name it. Say an organization, we got a condemnation from them. So, and they were, and, they, and, and a lot of them were human rights organizations. And you would ask, with the human, what, what about the human right for women not to be raped? I mean, what, what about the human right of kids to, you know, to, to, to play or to be free or to you know, we'll go to the park? And what about the human right to live? Or the human right to walk in the street, right? And but no, they were, they were worried about the human rights of the, of the killer, which, you know, they have human rights. I, I don't say they don't, they're human. But, but if you have to prioritize, what, what will you prioritize? Yes. Right? The human rights of the honest, hardworking, decent people, not the, not, the, not the human rights that they do have. But you, will not, you won't prioritize the, the, the human rights of the killers and rapists and murderers. And um, so we, we secured the country and we did it with no help from any other country and with huge, huge condemnation in everything that we were doing, everything. I mean, we, we changed the attorney general. We, we got so much condemnation because we changed the attorney general that we need to change to prosecute the, you know, the, the murderers. So we, we basically, we, we, they, they tried to block every step of what we were doing. And, uh, and now it's that the results are there. That it's you know they're tangible, measurable, um, undeniable. Now they they don't know what to do, because a lot of other countries are saying maybe a lot of other countries similar to ours that have similar problems. They are saying maybe we should do that too, but they don't want that because that's not in their agenda. Nayib Bukele openly acknowledges the criticism from international and human rights organizations. They argue that his policies favor the safety and freedom of the general public over the rights of criminals, and he agrees. His strong leadership and decisive actions are aimed at protecting the nation and its people, even if it invites external disapproval. Bukele's approach underscores the importance of individual responsibility and reflects the authenticity of his leadership. His actions are seen as brave and resolute steps to tackle the dangers faced by the people of El Salvador. We deeply value Bukel's commitment to ensuring that citizens can live freely and securely. This dedication is perceived as a true reflection of the people's desire for peace and rights. Bukel's policies have a profound impact on the collective spirit of the Salvadoran people. By prioritizing public security and the rights of citizens over those of criminals, he fosters a sense of safety, empowerment, and trust in his leadership. These policies contribute significantly to the mental health and social cohesion of the population, highlighting that a secure and stable environment is essential for both individual and collective well-being.